What is up? I just got off this call session. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I dialed 20 people. I talked to four of them. So it was a 20% pickup rate, which was incredible. Normally a pickup rate's 10. Um, and actually dialed 41 numbers. So it was a 10% on the numbers dialed, but it was 20 people. So I dialed about two numbers per person and I talked to four of them. Um, the calls went absolutely incredible. We had about 500 people on the Zoom watching this live. So if you didn't watch it live, that's okay. You're about to watch the replay. I did take out uh, all the people's private information. So as I'm screen sharing, you know, you're not really seeing my screen a whole lot because I wanted to take out all the private information here for YouTube. Um, but all the links are in the description. Red X has their deal that they're doing that's only good for 24 hours. You get the uh, the Geo Leads Plus and the Triple Line Dialer. This is all you need moving forward. Um, I'm, I'm all in on this strategy. You know, I, I built my business on Circle Prospecting. And then for a while, I kind of switched to Love and Expireds more. I'm right back to this, guys. Finding people who can upgrade or might be interested in a listing, I believe is the greatest strategy that I've ever seen because we're calling people to offer them something of value instead of trying to say, hey, would you sell? Which is what everybody's brainwashing to think we have to do. We think we have to call sell, uh, owners and say, hey, would you sell? Would you guys are selling? I have a buyer, blah, blah, blah. Which is a good strategy. It works. It's awesome. I love it. But I like this even better because I'm calling not to sell them, but to see if I can make their life better. Offer them something bigger, nicer, better view, um, maybe an investment, whatever. And I ended up calling golf front condos around one of my listings that I actually have. So enjoy this call session and let me know what you think in the comments. Beautiful. Good to see everybody. And I'm sorry about that little technical difficulty. I mean, I came in here and I didn't even know you guys were going to be on. I thought I was going to have to let you guys in. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm going to be making some calls today. My goal is to get that listing, right? Come on, I'm going to get that listing, get that listing today. So wait, Ricky, I want to know a follow-up from, from the, the webinar that we did two weeks ago. Remember that one where you were calling about that big property on the water? Yeah. Let's, let's talk for a second about that because I'm sure there's okay. a few people on here, but that was, that was such a cool call so is that if if people are if people weren't on two weeks ago ricky and i did something two weeks ago where he was calling geo leads he was calling around a property that, that the audience picked for us right yeah. we had them tell us what to pick yep you called for 20 20 minutes ish yep, yep. but 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 picked up a 1.7 million dollar listing well no 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 what it was it was a house that's worth about 650 uh, off the water so i was trying to sell the 1.7 oh you were trying to yeah, yeah, sell yeah. the 1.7 that's right and, that's right and the one i called was about a 650 house okay and uh well the one that i followed up and gave the 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 cma to and stuff it was like a 650 yeah. house gotcha so gotcha talking to her husband and stuff like that and they're going to be down like sometime in the next couple months and so i'm working towards um just like meeting them when they come down and stuff and maybe showing them a couple houses so i'm just kind of like developing that relationship but that yeah. phone call was it was money the, the reason why it's so good is because now when i call i'm offering people something instead of trying to take yes. something from them right well and that's and and i think that's what made it so simple right is is uh, anytime anytime we make a cold call right there's always some barriers that go up but the moment those people because you had three really great conversations and yeah. and all three of them the moment they realized that you weren't like commission breath yep all of a sudden they were amazing conversations remember that one that one gal she was talking about her knee had been hurting and i yeah. mean it was it was awesome such a good session yeah this one's gonna be just as good so what's funny is two of my agents made calls yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, Monday, we did a live call session and two of my agents, one in Panama City, one in North Carolina, they made calls and the girl in Panama City, she talked to maybe three people and the guy in North Carolina, probably three people. Um, they only called for like 30 minutes, but every single call was just nice people, great conversations. What do you want yes. to do? What can I do to help you? 
you know, it, it was, you know, what's so funny. My buddy Shane, he, he, and, and in his calls, he called a guy and like, like 20 seconds in, he's talking to this guy, they're jiving. He's talking to him. He's like, wait a minute. Like, I'm just kind of looking at my notes here. Didn't I already talk to you? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to you like two weeks ago. We had this long conversation and stuff. He, the guy was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's like, man, you know, like, you know, I hear him calling you again. The guy goes, you, you, you working hard out here, ain't you? So it was so funny because people like immediately recognize someone who's calling them being nice, offering something of value, trying to help them figure out what they want to do and, and, and try to figure out a way to help them do it. They, they connect people like that with the word hard worker, right? They immediately think that, that you, when you call and here's, here's the other side, here's the other side of it. A lot of people are worried about mean people. Number one, it rarely happens when it does. And you find somebody who is standoffish when you, when you, when you talk to them, here's the secret guys right here to that. You keep them talking long enough until they, until they turn into a nice person. Right. 100%. That's all it is. Develop the skill to keep them talk as a mean person. Cause that's not who they are. That's just a shell. That's just their defense mechanism. You keep them talking long enough until they turn nice. And then what happens? They're like, feel bad. They feel bad that they were mean to a nice person, which is you. They start apologizing and backtracking. And next thing you know, they're telling you everything about what they want to do. And those are the best clients. So the meet you want to find people who are mean on the phone. You want mean to find people, people are motivated. They, they they're are motivated. They are. They're passionate. And it's their, that's not who they are. And when you develop the skill, let me tell you something. Let me elevate everybody's game for a second. When you develop the skill to keep a mean person talking long enough to become nice, oh, you, it's a whole nother level. Now you got the nice people in your pocket. Now you got the mean people in your pocket. Now it doesn't matter. You don't care what happens. You're Mr. Nice Guy trying to see what the world that they got going on. It's like, how are you doing? Good. How's your day? Cool. What you want to do? You want to downsize, upsize? You want to invest in something? You, you want to sell your place? What do you want? What you need? I got it. Whatever you so, want. So, Rick, you, you, you did a Facebook post just in, in the last couple of days. And, and I'm totally going to butcher it. So you're going to have to remind me. But it said, it said something about the person who makes the most calls with the best intentions. What, what yeah. was it? What was that? What was that? Because I think that's exactly what you're talking about here. You know what it was? It was actually your post. You guys quoted oh, me on Instagram. That's what it was. And sent it to me. Um, it was a quote I did a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. The person that talks to the most people with the best intentions wins. Um, but I just wanted to throw this out there cause it's something that I kind of, you know, it's like, okay, how do we handle mean people? Well, that's not who they are. It's their defense mechanism. They know that being mean will hopefully make you go away. If you don't go away, then they, they can't, they're not mean people. So they can't maintain the meanness long enough. If you keep them on the phone long enough, they end up breaking down and just reverting back to who they really are, which is a really nice person. It happens right. every single time. Now, if they hang up on you, that's different. If they're, if they're just like whatever and they hang up, okay, you know, that, that's fine. It, it actually rarely happens the better you get. In the beginning, it happens more often because you sound nervous. You're throwing red flags. You've got commission breath. Your intentions are in the right place. You're there for you instead of them. But when you start to transition from being there for them instead of you, and you start to transition into how to actually handle those first few seconds in the call that create instant rapport, oh, man, your whole life will change. And not just in real estate. Every aspect of your life, when you learn how to communicate and you realize these aren't mean people out there, they cannot maintain the meanness right? If you don't go away, Agreed. their real self will appear and you will do. These are the best clients. My best clients were the meanest people when I first met them in the very earliest stages in my career. I mean, they ended up doing so much business with me. And this is what a lot of agents need to understand. They have this call reluctance around it. And it's like, wait a minute, 
Those are your people. That's not even who they are. They're just try- they don't know you. So this is their defense mechanism. That's their crocodile brain coming out. Agreed. But yeah, let me. And so yeah, that okay. So the other the other day when I made those calls two weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen, what happened was is the month before that we did a call and I mean I named it a hundred listings no cold calls. There was a thousand people on that Zoom. A th- there were more than a thousand because it maxed out at a thousand and people were trolls trying to get in. There was a there's more than a thousand people. And 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 I broke down that you want listings, but you go after buyers 100 percent of the time. Like all your actions is focused around getting buyers. And although you want listings. So I broke all this down. I said, okay, you can use Red X Ad Builder. You can call people, you can write the letter, you can make people call you, you can. You can actually get the same leads you're getting from Zillow buyers and make it be sellers that you want to work with. So broke all that down. There was a thousand people there. The next Zoom we did, which was two weeks ago, I made the calls. I said, find a buyer for any listing within an hour. Guess what? I talked to three people and all three were leads. And what was interesting is on that call, there were maybe 300 people. So when I do a Zoom that says 100 listings, no cold calls, the world shows up. I do a call that says find a buyer for any listing, and I break down the most incre- the, the best strategy I've ever seen. Literally, three hundred people show up, which is which which is great. But it's like if we're not if we're not talking about no cold calls, it's like people aren't as interested. This week, I'm like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Because last week. What you realize is that through the greatest strategy that I've ever come up with, which is find people that want to upsize or downsize into whatever listing you want, you get listings because that gets your foot in the door. They don't want the house, and then they want to sell. Two of the people want to sell that I talked to uh, out of the three people. Neither, Neither one of them wanted the house I was calling them about. I find it so interesting. We're focused on to sell this house, but we get listings. So that's what we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to get another listing. I'm actually going to pull a new listing like in the last couple of days. I'm going to pull all the people around it. I'm going to call and say, hey, did you see this new listing? If, you know, you got a three, you, you need a four. I got a really nice one I'd love to show you. And let's see what happens. Um, okay. Seems like I had one more thing I wanted to tell you guys before I get into this. Uh, let, let me just, let me just throw this out here real quick. <laughs> my little, my, my tour next week. I'm in New York gold bar live the week after I'm in Houston. The week after that, I'm in Dallas. Then I'm in Fort Lauderdale. This is week after week after week, Vegas, Atlanta, the next week, Vancouver, Washington. I'm doing a, I'm doing a full day workshop in Gulf Shores, full day in Gulf Shores. It's 500 bucks, only a hundred people. If you guys are interested in that. Um, I'm in, yeah, man, I've got some more stuff I'm working on after that. That takes me all the way through to June, back to back to back weeks all over. I'm going to put that in the chat real quick, a link to the ones I actually have links to. All right. And then let me make sure I have all the links here. Put this in the chat so you guys can get into that. But there was something else I was going to tell you guys before I dove into all this. Okay. It'll come back to me. It'll come. All right. Let me dive in here. So you got, so, so again, this is totally raw. I am logging into my MLS for the first time since I made the calls two weeks ago. Here we go with this stuff again. Oh, you mother. There we go. If you guys have questions, throw it in the, yeah, yeah. Fort Lauderdale isn't there because we're actually, it's just a grand opening of a uh, office. I'll put it out in an email though. And you guys are welcome to come and hang out. It's going to be like a, it's going to be like a meetup. If you guys haven't seen Ricky speak live, if if you if you think Ricky's great on a webinar, 
I don't know what it is, Ricky. I think it's I think it's the smell of the microphone or something. Mm. Bro, your 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 game mm. your game on stage is on point. Yeah, I'm I'm um well I've been doing it for a long time now. So um people are asking about stuff. If you go to the link I put in the chat right there, it, it takes you to all the events that actually have to where you can actually register for. Uh, do you leave voicemails on calls when circle prospect? Yes. You always leave a voicemail. I do like people have different opinions on this. People, some people say don't, some people do. I, I leave a voicemail cause I don't plan on them calling me back and I want them to hear my name before I forget, before I forget, this is what I was going to tell you. This is what I was going to tell you guys, this, what I'm doing. Okay. Again, the, the Fort Lauderdale one is not going to be listed. It's literally in Atlanta. I don't have the link for it yet. Whatever you can re reserve is on the link. If it's not on there, well, I don't have the link for it yet. They, the event hasn't sent me a link for it to, to advertise yet. I'm just telling you where I'm going to be so you can kind of prepare. Um, And just pay attention to emails and stuff. And also here, text me at this number. If you want real updates, text me here to get on my, e to get on my text, to get all my text messages. If you really want to stay updated on everything. Um, but this is what I was going to tell you guys real quick. This strategy. Now listen to me. When they remove the buyer agent commission from MLS. Hello. When they remove the buyer agent commission from MLS. Hello. This is going to be your go-to strategy. Because when you call a seller to upgrade and they upgrade, guess what? You can take it easy on them for the buyer agent commission. Because you're gonna get their listing too. You're doing two. You're doing three deals. You're getting the listing. You're getting the buyer. You're double ending if it's your listing, which it needs to be your listing. You need to call for. Uh, you need to call off off markets. If somebody calls you back on the letter that you wrote, but they don't want to list it, hello, you can find a buyer in two hours for that off market property if it's priced right. You got both sides. And then you, you're going to list their house, which then what you're going to do. You're going to go find the buyer for that, double in that, find another listing. Hello. It never ends. It's an, in, it's an endless cycle. If you have one buyer, if you have one seller, you've got work forever. All right. I don't, I'm not liking some of these new listings. You know what I think I might do? I've got a couple condos listed at Lighthouse. I think I might call in there. Let's see what we got. Let me go back. Let me go pending and sold so we get the whole picture of the building. Let me go back. Go back a year, 15, okay. I'm going to call some Gulffront condos today. All right. Here's the ones available. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Here's, here are mine. My two. I've got a two-bedroom and a three-bedroom. There's a lot of one-bedrooms in there. But, you know, honestly, when you think about condos and people that are buying, like, more than one condo and stuff, you know, a three-bedroom might buy another three. Or a two might buy another two. So let me look at some comps. This one bedroom's on the contract for 610. There's no more for sale. Uh, let's see. One bedroom went for 570, 585, 589, 610. Okay, 975 for a three bedroom, 775 for a two. That was a corner unit, 1101. I'm literally doing like Rain Man. Like I literally, now I know the whole building right there. Everything I just said told me everything I needed to know. All right, now let me get over here to Red X. By the way, they are still doing this deal right here uh, where you get the triple line dialer and GeoLeads Plus for $199 for the first month right there. If you don't have it, you need to get it right now. This is the, this is the strategy moving forward. I don't do anything else. I, you know what, Tyler? I actually, I, I'm actually going to be on a TV show. It's not going to be like on 
mainstream Bravo or anything, but it's going to be like a TV show. And it's literally like cold call battles. And, um, they actually found my videos of me being a, of me making cold calls. And, um, they've got me going up against agents all over the country. It's pretty funny. I love it. I love and it's it. like, and it's like, it's like, it's a big, like it's big producers. that are doing it. And, I love um, it. and, and like, I'm, 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 I'm using this strategy. Like I'm literally using this strategy. I'm not, I'm not going to be calling expireds for sub owners, et cetera. I'm going to be using this strategy. Okay. This, 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 where you're, where you're offering. I mean, this is what was so great, right? Is, is your, your call around properties that, uh, that don't have to be yours. Don't have to be, but you're, no. but, but, but you're calling to offer them an opportunity. And that's, that's the thing. Hey, look, you're in a, you're in a one bedroom. I've got a three for sale. Do you want to, do you want to upsize? Or vice versa, do you want to downsize? It makes such a simple conversation. I mean, it is so a lot of people talk smack is, about uh like condos on Red X. You just make a make a boundary around the condo like this. All right, let me make sure I got all let's see, let's prompt this up to twelve fifty. So five hundred and seven. So when you when you draw the boundary around the condo and you ask it to find the nearest whatever, and it says five hundred and seven, and you know it has like five, 600 units. It's, it's got all the owners and my settings real quick. So once you get in there, you hit one, it goes here. It's not going to do anything to hit dial. I'm going to go here to the settings and I just want to look over and make sure everything's like I want it. I've got my registered number that Red X gave me, which is going to prevent me from popping up as spam here. My caller ID. Of course I have my number here. That's going to be the number that this number forwards to when they call. I want to call three numbers at once because I'm a baller and I just don't care. I'll let it ring out at six. And voicemails, Ricky General. Let's see what it says. Okay, that kind of sucks. I'm going to re-record that. So I'm going to go here. All right, let's see. What am I going to go with? I'm trying to figure out if I want to actually say I have units listed they might be interested in. I think I will. Hey, it's Ricky Carruth with EXP Realty here in Gulf Shores. I was calling you because I've actually got a couple of units at the Lighthouse that I'm pretty sure you're going to be interested in. Give me a ring back, 251-752-1138. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> that is fire. Perfect. You know what I've realized, too? That when you say it on through like a mic through the computer oh god the quality of the of the voicemail is great let's see here lighthouse i hope you guys appreciate the time i'm taking to really take you through the whole process here uh let's see 221 cuz i really want to help you crush it guys this is so easy so I'm choosing that voicemail. Okay, the call backs. Let's see what that was. I'm going to go with none today. I'm going to go with none today. Right. Phone numbers. Good. All right. Got me a little phone stand for my phone. We'll see how that works. We need to pick it up. It's going to be like a whole stand. <laughs> All right. But I want you guys to be able to hear what's happening.
Okay, I just need to refresh this. I've got unit 318, 314, lower floor, corner units. 1201's for sale for more money, higher floor. This one you don't get on the elevator, you drive right up to your unit, and I'm ready to rumble. Oh, I'm dropping that. Did you see I did a Usher remix on on um on Insta on Instagram from last week? Uh, I didn't see that. I'm gonna have to go find it. Hello. Hey, is this Mr. Shrugs? Hey, this is Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How you doing? Doing well. How are you? Good, man. You enjoying the day? I am. Me too, man. It's a beautiful day. Are you, have you been out on the beach lately? Yeah, I have. Mm. Do you live down here or are you uh, out of state? I live down here. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, yeah, I, you, you may have heard of me. I don't know. I've been down here 20-something years selling condos and stuff. Um, Ricky Carruth, have you heard of me? I have not. Okay, cool. Now, I was calling because I got two lighthouses for sale. I think you, I want to say you have one. I can't tell for sure here. Um, but I've got, you know, a three bedroom on the corner all the way down where you can, you know, drive up to it. You don't have to get on the elevator. And I've got a two bedroom there on the same floor. So, I don't know. I, I didn't know if you might be looking for another one or switching yours out for another. I see you're on the 17th floor. So, some people like it up there. Some people yeah, don't. We're, we're, yeah, we, we we like it up here, and we're, yeah, we're we're good. We're not we're not in the market for another one at this point. Okay, cool, cool. You uh you guys got an agent down here? You normally work with? Uh, we ha we have before. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Okay. Well, shoot. I tell you what. I um. You know, I don't know when you might do something in the future, but like I said, I've been down here for a long time selling these condos on the beach. I grew up here too. Did you grow up here by the way? You said you're from here. No, I didn't. I'm, okay. No, I'm, I'm from Nashville. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I went to Gulf Shores Elementary and stuff, so it's kind of surreal seeing all these condos and stuff because the lighthouse used to be just a couple of buildings. You know, they tore down to build the big, yeah, the big tower. Right. Yeah. But yeah, later on down the road, if you decide to do something, I'd love the opportunity maybe to work with you um, if I could stay in touch with you. Mm. I'll, I'll keep you in mind. Yeah, what what's a what's a good email for you? I'll send you over all my stuff. Got it. Cool. Well, man, it was a pleasure to meet you. Um, I'll stay in touch with you via email here. I'll send you over all my stuff. And if you ever need anything, you know, give me a shout. Okay, sounds good. Have a good day. See you, bro. Easy conversation. Let's see. Where Send that guy your info. There it is. I don't know why. Oh, I had to scroll down to see that. All right. So this was, what am I going to say about him? He is. I'd call it a good number. I mean, good num it's a good there, number. There, there, that's, there, that's a, uh, yeah. you know, that's a, that's a, I'd have to say that's a cell phone. All right. So oh. there's there's some comments coming in, Ricky. While you're while you're doing that, people. Nikki Nikki says, "Oh my gosh, that's nerve wracking." LOL. I don't know how it was. How, how do, but, hey, can but you, hey, can for, you guys for, hear me good? Can you guys hear me good? By the way. Like I see some people said you can't hear me. Can you maybe my mic maybe my voice was too far from the mic. Well, I was trying to get the mic down to the phone so that okay. That's what I'll keep the mic a little closer to my mouth. All right. Well, whatever. Whatever y'all are saying, nerve wracking and stuff. I'm gonna just keep calling. I don't have time for that. I, I I think I think it comes with with 
just understanding that nothing bad's going to happen. Well, it's like, it's so nerve wracking to make a million dollars. Okay. <laughs> There's a bunch of jobs out there. Paige? Hello? Did you yeah, say, hi. hey, hey, it's Ricky Carew with EXP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How you doing? Yeah, I, I got a condo for sale down here. Oh, no, no, no. So I think this, the wrong number is on file. Like a bunch of people are calling you thinking you own a condo? No, sorry. Okay, go, go ahead. Keep going. What were you going no, to no, no, no. I was saying, is it, are, are there a lot of people calling you thinking that you own a condo down here in Gulf Shores? No, there's one person that keeps, yeah, keeps asking me about it. And huh. for someone that actually owns one, and they have my phone number on file. Oh, I see. It's not actually my. Okay, yeah. that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, no, I've been down here for a couple of decades selling condos. And I just, I had one in the same building for sale. Um, it's a pretty good deal. So I was just call, trying to call, you know, the owner of this one, 308. It's actually on the same floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To see if, yeah, see if they I'm might be. The wrong number. Got you. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, if. So you so you know the owners, what you're saying? I don't actually. Oh. No, but the weird name is, is my name is correct, which is weird. Okay. So I, so, uh, I, I see. I see what happened. I see I what know. happened. They pulled your number by your name, thinking it was the other person that has the exact same name. I'm gonna make a note. I'm gonna make a note and try okay. to like get with the data company and try <laughs> and try to help help you out with that. You uh, you, you want a condo on Gulf Shores? It's real nice. No, okay, thank you. Thank you. All good. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Stacy, man, I'll see you. Hey, Stacy, Ricky Carew, EXP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How you doing? I'm good. You enjoying the day? Yes, I am. Cool. Are you wanting for me to sell my condo? Absolutely not. I actually got a condo. I was wondering if I might be interested in. To be honest with you. Actually, no. I just bought a house. You did in, uh, in Gulf Shores. I had some, all of my extra money. Well, I live full time in Orange Beach. I bought a house on uh, Cotton Bay, right on the water. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I, uh, are you on the canal or are you on the big water? No, I'm, um, I'm on the big water. Okay. Right, right near the Yeah. Oh, see, oh, okay, you got it off the beach road, not off, not off of, uh, Marina Road. No, I'm on Perdido Beach Boulevard. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, are you from here or are you from somewhere else? Orange Beach for about three and a half years. Now. Okay, cool. Yeah, I grew up here. I'm 42. I, I, you know, went to Gulf Shores Elementary and stuff. I, uh, been selling con, oh, cool. been selling condos down here since I was 20. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm really blessed because a lot of my friends, you know, they, there's not much like, you either got to be like a own a restaurant or be a realtor or a lawyer. I mean, <laughs> ain't no Wall Street jobs around here. Exactly. Yeah. Who, uh, what agent did you use on the house? I used my friend Lay, Lay Bushmill. Yeah. Yep. He's a good friend of mine. Yep, yep. Great agent. Really good agent. All right, well, look, uh, yeah, I got. I'm sorry, I can barely hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I have a car alarm. <laughs> I hear something going on. I got you. Hey, you have you a good day. You too. All bye right. Bye-bye. I couldn't, like, the car alarm started going off. That's it, man. If you could just keep, like I said from the beginning, if you can just keep people talking long enough to where it's like, okay, they're not going away. I, I, I can't be somebody else anymore. I have to like just be myself now. All right. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail.
The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, oh, please shoot. record your message. I sure, I sure will. Rightio. Got to get me a listing. It made me start singing. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. You've reached Justin Collins, sales manager in Bentley Hyundai of Huntsville. You would. Okay. That was a cell phone. If I ever heard one. They're getting messages right now. I got two condos, a lighthouse, that I think you're really gonna love. <laughs> oh. Let's see. It looks looking about the same. Hi. Tom is currently unavailable. Boop. Oh, Charlie Jury. I sold him his condo. Let's see if it let's see if he picks picks up. If you're just tuning in guys, this is You great Brady Gurry. Leave your name and number and I'll get back with you. Um the Magic Jack customer you have called is This is this is Gulffront Condos. It's just circle prospecting. Circling. I'm like a vulture circling its prey. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you send? I, my name and phone number. You guys overcomplicate the shit out of this stuff. Alright, so yeah, you guys see what's happened here. If you don't have Red X, there's the link. They're only doing this deal today. Hello? Hello? What's going on here? It's like that one picked up. Weird. But it says redial when I go over it. Yeah. Maybe hit that oh, 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 I know what happened. Oh, it's waiting. Yep, it's waiting. It's not waiting. She picked up and hung up, I think. Or like or yeah. like or yeah. like a machine hung hung up or something. Yeah. No answer. But well, I, I think that didn't show up because of because of whatever the whatever the screen size is that you're on right now. It looks like it's zoomed in a little. Hi, this is so that didn't that didn't pop up. We were both waiting for it. What I was going to say about Shane and that guy that he called. Agents try to figure out how not to call the same person twice. And literally he got a listing. The dude was like, yeah, we just saw we're going to go with you on that call. Ray Watson. That's a name, ain't it? So that link is to get the triple line dialer. Now. The link gets you the triple line. Now, if you got this same deal before and you got the single line, I guess Tyler, you guys can just upgrade them, huh? Yep. Just call. Yeah, just call in, guys. Call into Red X and just Hi, upgrade Sandra. it. Thank you for calling Tiki. I'm about to get me a listing. I can feel. I can. Ooh, I can smell it. Hey, Miss Tar. Hi, yes, sir. Hey, it's Ricky Carruth, the XP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How you doing? Hi, good. How are you? 
I'm doing just fine, enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, well, I actually wouldn't know. I ended up, um, I moved into the Oh, you moved out? Why in the world would you ever do that? I know, isn't it crazy? My husband, um, I got married this past year, and my husband has a job in Arizona, so we ended up oh. here for a couple. <coughs> Are you in Phoenix or Scottsdale? We're outside of Phoenix, um, in Gilbert. Okay, man, Scottsdale is nice. It is, yeah, it is we went through there and it just it just smells like money like everything's so clean yeah. it's like golly yeah. uh, okay absolutely. Yep. so do you still do you guys still have a lighthouse unit um my parents do oh uh, not me it's my parents okay cool cool i uh i've been down i grew up here in gulf shores actually i went to gulf shores elementary and um okay. which is kind of rare to find actually but we uh I've been doing this, I've been selling condos for, since I was 20, so I've been 22 years. Anyway, I've sold a bunch of them lighthouses, but I've got, uh, I've got a really nice one for sale. It's a corner unit on a low floor. You can okay. literally like drive straight up to the front door. You don't even have to get on an elevator. Um, okay. Yeah, I was just seeing if maybe somebody, let's see, you guys or your parents have a two bedroom. This is a three, so I just okay. and didn't know if, you know, I'm calling around just to, See who wants it. I mean, it's it's a nice one. It's a big one. So if somebody has a two, a one or two, or one of the smaller threes, they yeah. might they might want a bigger three, maybe. Yeah, I mean that would be that's a dream. That my parents have loved owning at the lighthouse, and my husband and I eventually want to get into real estate, but we're a couple years out, um, just because we want to buy in Gulf Shores, and we yeah. you know obviously being not in that point right now. Yeah. But, It is. It is. Um, I tell you what. First off, if you if you're looking to maybe get something later on, like five year, ten years down the road, uh, I'll stay in touch with you till then. I'll stay in touch with you via email. And uh, when you guys decide you you know you're down here, you want to look at something, or you decide you want to do something to pull the trigger, if you don't got a, an agent, heck, I I love to work with you. Yeah. But I also, my husband is in, he was in the military, and um, he is a straight shooter, and he is not, he doesn't really have time for, like, lingering around. He wants sexual, logistical, yep. all of that stuff. He is, that's what I do. He's just, that, yeah. That's so exactly. We, so, uh, as much as we would love to use our friends and stuff, we... You know, it's it's like unless I can get the job done, that's yeah. all that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, I can I can tell you, I was a I was a number one agent in the entire county down here for eight years in a row. Um, oh wow. Yeah, yeah. I and all I do is just get the job done. What is your email? I'll stay in touch with you via email, and I'll send you some really like cut to the chase, straight up, you know, information from time to time. And if you guys ever want to chat about the market or whatever, you know, you guys can give me a ring. I actually think your husband or maybe your dad or something's calling me right now. It's funny. It's pro I don't know. Let's see. It's a 717-201. That's your mom? Okay. I got your email. I'll, I'll, I'll call you. I'm going to try to catch this. Hello? 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 Hello, hello? Hello? All right. Two can play at that game. Oh. Two can play at that game. So that was her mom calling me back.
Come on. Come on. Hi, ah. Debra. Thank you for calling Tiki Island Boutique. Our Gulf Shores location okay. is 510 okay. Gulf Shores. Park okay. One and a half blocks of okay. white sand. Our Orange Beach. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's Ricky. At the, I think we're playing the, the greatest game of phone tag you ever seen. Anyway, I was on the other line with your daughter, and she was telling me about your lighthouse, and they moved to Arizona and all that stuff. And then you started calling in. And I was like, okay, your mom's calling me. Let me flip over, and then I missed you. Anyway, yeah, um, I know you guys' place, and uh, over there. Um, everything. So I grew up here in Gulf Shores. I went to Gulf Shores Elementary and stuff. Anyway, I've been selling condos for 20 years. You probably got my other message. I got a really nice three bedroom on the corner on the third floor. You can drive right up to the unit. Just calling to see if you guys are looking for a bigger condo. So anyway, we'd love to catch up with you either way. Maybe I can help you guys down the road. You can reach me back here, 251-752-1138. Talk to you soon. All right, let me get back to, let, get me to the Greek, <laughs> to the Greek. All right, which one was the lady, let's see, it was probably her, right? Which one did I, can I tell who I called? So the, 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 the one that you called. Yeah, I know the two, I know that, I know, I, I know that was the mom. So this yeah, one. Yeah, Deborah Tarr. So this one With has, yeah. So this one has to be, because I want to call the daughter back. Oh, you know what? You know what else is probably weird? Is there, when I call from my cell phone, it's a different number. Oh, because it's a different number, right? Because you're not calling yeah. from the dialer. You could click to call right in the dialer right there. The little blue telephone icon. No doubt. And it calls from the number? Uh-huh. Welcome to Wave. Press 1 to continue. Okay. Missed her that time. Okay. But you got her. She's a, she's a buyer. When they're ready. She... Hold on. Hey Hannah, Ricky Caruth again. I missed your mom. I tried I tried to call her back. Was like phone tag times a million. Anyway, I got your email. I'll send you all my information. If you guys ever need anything whatsoever down here, feel free to let me know. All right. Good meeting you. Nice talking to you. And we'll talk to you soon. Boom. That's all you can do, guys. You take every situation as far as you can. All right. Let's see what we got. Mom, Mom's going to call you back. Daughter's a buyer down the road. Yep. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Good number. I'm going to say good number. Da, 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 da. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, that's an hour. I got to run to my next appointment. Um, I got a couple minutes though. Oh, let's wait. Let's rehash. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Where is? Oh, go back to the list view, and then click on the pulse right next to the GeoLeads button. I assume that's what you're looking for. Okay. Let's see. So.
20 per 20 G leads. 20 leads. Called about two numbers per. Talked to yep. four people. Did I talk to four? It seems like I talked to more than that. Probably four. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, probably yeah, four. Four, four well, you four that four that were contacts. Yeah, that you had a conversation. So so that's twenty percent. That's forty people, forty leads. I talked to four of them. That's twenty percent pickup rate, guys. Normally it's ten percent pickup rate. And if you go by the total phone calls, it is ten percent. But if you go by the number of people I try to contact, it's twenty percent. So out of a hundred people I try to contact, I'm gonna talk to twenty. Hello. You know, the numbers ain't good. Well, I, by, the, by the way, these numbers right here, these people were all over the country. That person was in wherever 217 or 717 is. Where I live, these people are from all over the country. So it's not just my area, this area, that area. It's all the areas. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. There it is. There's the deal. It's good for today. 199. Geo leads and a triple line dialer. It's all you need. It's all you need to crush this market, the next market, when they get rid of buyer agent commissions, whole nine yards. I literally could sit here for three hours. If I wasn't training and I was just calling, oh my God. And I sat here for like the three hours that everybody should be from nine to 12 every day. Think about how big your business would be. And let me tell you something, guys. You, even if you're a new agent, okay, you, you, I'm going to give you guys a secret as we, as we leave here, all right? As a new agent, everybody thinks, well, how do I compete with the big guys? How do I compete with the big agents, the more experienced agents? Let me give you guys a stat. More than 80% of people go with the first agent they talk to. That's a real stat. 80% of buyers and sellers go with the first agent they talk to. So if you talk to them first... Before any other agent does, as they're thinking about buying or selling, then it's not 100%, okay? But you have a more than 80% chance, 81, 82, 83% chance to be their agent if you talk to them first. So if you're making your calls and you're building your business for the future, you run into somebody who's thinking about doing something, they haven't talked to another agent yet, there's an 80% plus chance that you're going to get that business even if you're a new agent. Now, the other 20% chalks up to people that they've known, people that did a, they did the deal with before, somebody their wife has in mind, okay? You're not going to get them all. But think about that statistic, 80%. You got an 80% chance if you talk to them before any other agent. That's massive. Um, Yeah. Uh, let's see. I kind of almost want to bring some people in here answer some questions and stuff. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, just throw uh, throw any questions you got in the chat. I'm going to hang out for a good five more minutes and answer anything you got. I'm going to scroll back up. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Dude, multi-line, you have to have the multi. Did you see what I just did with multi-line? If I was on a single line, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got to 40 numbers in literally 30 minutes. No way. There's no way I would have got through that many numbers uh, with a with a single line dialer. It, it's um, such a game changer. I mean, it's it, it, total it numbers game. And now that now that we've got the registered number that doesn't show up as spam, total game changer. Um, and think yeah. about the voicemails I left. Like I might get a couple callbacks too. So that that actual conversion might be a little higher than what we think right now. Uh, initially, so if you get a callback during your dialing, do you recommend pausing to take the call or keep dialing? That's always like been like a weird thing. What do you do when somebody's calling back? Do you kind of drop the call session? That's if you're in the middle of a conversation, I would say no. You just keep going to the conversation, obviously. If you're not in a conversation, I'm kind of 50 50. It's like flip a coin. Who cares? Call them back, whatever. Um, let's see. You're not saying it's your listing. You're just saying you have a listing. Yeah, th these listings happen to be my listings, but you can do it with anything. Off-market, on-market, somebody else's listing. Uh, handwritten letters are broker, branded envelopes, okay? I wouldn't. I'd use non-branded envelopes. 
Eighty percent of agents are failing because they refuse to pick up the phone. Yeah, the whole thing is like this job is predicated on you calling people. Even if you get by leads, you still got to call them. You can't get around from just calling people and just doing business and seeing what they want to do, helping them. Was there was anybody mean to me on the phone today? You know, was there anybody mean to me on the phone? It never happens. It never happens. Do I recommend door knocking? I don't. I've never door knocked a day in my life. I mean, I can sit in an air-conditioned environment and just, like, literally, I talk to four people in 30 minutes. Can I door knock enough doors to talk to four people in 30 minutes? I don't think so. And I did that while I was coaching you guys through it. How do my calls go if I don't have any listings on file? How... How do they go any differently? Somebody else is listing. Hey, I have a list. I, I have a property over here you probably want to see. When can I show it to you? It doesn't have to be your listing. It's the same exact conversation, man. Jesus. If we call Red X role play number, do they go off rookie scripts? So if you call the Red X role play number, you should be using Ricky's script and they'll respond like a homeowner. I, I sit here and dial like crazy. I have to pay title for numbers. Don't pay title. You, I literally got 500 numbers and a click of a mouse, cell phones, emails, MLS data, everything. It's literally $199 for the first month. You get $7,500 of your choice. You should be waking up every day shaking to get to the phone, to like call to sell a listing to see what people want to do to help them do it. This stuff is so easy. A cave man could do it. A caveman is doing it. Like, I am a cave. You see this area here? This is a cave, okay? I'm in a cave right now, and I'm literally a caveman doing this. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm smart enough to know if something works and, and I'm going to make a million bucks, I'm going to do it. The problem is, are you smart enough to see something that works, to take advantage of it, execute, and make a million bucks? And I think the problem, guys, is that a lot of you aren't fed up with your circumstances of life enough to do whatever it takes to succeed. You're, you're still okay with where you are in life. Until you, until you say, I'm sick of living like this and I'm ready to live like that, then you're going to keep living like you're living. Until you're, until you're ready, you know, don't come to me until you're ready. Until you're ready to do whatever you have to do to crush it and make all your dreams come true, you're not ready. You're just going to watch me make calls and then go to sleep. So you don't deal with the number showing up as spam because the registered number Red X gives you prevents that. When two people answer at the same time, I have it set on none, which means it just hangs up on the second person. It calls them back automatically. If you saw my, if you watched the whole call session through the 44 calls, not a single time did two people pick up at the same time. It doesn't happen a whole lot. When you have a 10, 20% pickup rate, it doesn't happen a whole lot. It will happen, but not a whole lot. It's not enough to worry about. It call, but it calls the second person back after you get through with the conversation. What leads do I find most success converting? I like Circle Pro. I'm back to Circle. I was expired, was my fave. I went from Circle Prospecting and expires. I'm back to Circle Prospecting because once I once I unlocked calling someone to ask them if that you did you hear what that other lady said? She said, "Are you calling to see if I want to sell my condo?" I was like, "Heavens no, <laughs> heavens no, <laughs> God no." You better not sell that condo. What I want you to do is add to the. I want you to own a bunch of condos. Don't sell it. Just buy another one. You know. <laughs> um, I'm a young 19 year old realtor. Should I use my age when approaching leads to gain some uniqueness, or should I keep that out as people may think of me as inexperienced and too young? The difference, Tyler, is that people that are too old try to hide the fact that not too old when people are older, they try to hide the fact because they think they're too old and people that are young try to hide the fact because they think they're too young. Well, who's right. I mean, you can make up in your mind an excuse of why people aren't going to use you no matter what stage you are in your career. You know, when you, when you get to where you're 10 years in, you're 30 years old or whatever, you're going to say, well, why are they going to want to deal with me? I'm only making 500,000 a year. Why don't they deal with somebody that's making 2 million a year? 
You're you can always make up something. Dude, walk in there with complete confidence. Complete confidence. I, I think I think it also goes back to what you've said many, many times, Ricky, is quit making it about you, make it about them. Make it about them, what they need, where they're at, what are their situ what's their situation, and then and then your age doesn't matter. Then they're not thinking about your age. They're thinking about what you could do for them. Danny Sanchez, does the line dialer come up as spam likely? It does not. It does not. That's why I had so many pickups. So, yeah, they, they give you a number and they register it. Uh, you know somebody that might need a four-bedroom? No. Ask them if they want a four-bedroom. You know, you know, it's like, oh, do you, do you know somebody? Do you possibly know somebody that might need a four bedroom? I got one. Not you. I'm not talking about you. No. Say, hey, I see you got a three bedroom and do you need a four bedroom? Did you have a kid? Did your mother-in-law move in? Are you getting cramped? What you need? I got it. When you talk to somebody and say they're going to send them information, is that different from your weekly email? No, I send them my information. Name, you know, phone number, address. I send them my information. Website. So this is good. If Hannah is five to ten years out from buying, how many times a year do you touch them? Fifty-two. It's called a weekly email. Every week she'll get something every Wednesday and she'll call me when she's ready to do something. So Juan, yeah, it happens. It does happen when people are mean, but if you call it the first of this, all you have to do is keep them talking long enough to, to, until they turn nice. If you keep them talking long enough, they'll, they'll end up being nice and be the nicest person you ever met and apologize for being so mean to you. So the skill is, is to keep the mean people talking. That's it. It's that easy. That's not who they are. Okay, what's the verbiage I would use if it's not my listing? So you're being industry ethical. I have a listing over here you would love to see. There's there's nothing, there's no line like ethics or un unethical about trying to sell a listing that's not yours. That's what we do all day long. Try to sell listings that aren't ours. I don't I don't know where the confusion is, man. It doesn't make a little noise when people pick up. Nobody, you, you heard the calls you I have, did. You, yeah. you could have it make a little noise if you wanted, but most people prefer to keep that setting turned off. That way they say hello and you jump right into the conversation. All right. Uh, cool, man. Good to see you guys. Happy to see you. Loving you guys very much. I hope I'm seeing you guys on my tour. All right, there's the Red X deal once again. I'm gonna put all the uh all my tour dates here that are that are official right now, right there. Come see us. Text me here if you want to stay updated on all future trainings. 251-312-8844. And uh zero to diamond.com if you want to join our community. We're doing weekly calls. We've got listing challenge. We've got a bunch of courses, scripts, everything right there. All right. Um, let's do this again next month. Uh, I'm kind of in and out. So I'll get with you, Tyler, and we'll we'll do it again, guys. If you guys need anything, reach we'll out. We'll do it again. Yeah. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you all very soon. Peace.